Right, hello, welcome back to another video. If you've watched my previous other videos, you'll have seen that I've been using a mag drill to line bore, which is not ideal, it, it does a job, but it's too fast and it doesn't have auto feed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a better one, a bit like a York design of mag drill, of uh, line boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new line boring setup using this iron stock motor which is nice and slow it's variable speed and it has a two-speed gearbox so that'll be a lot better suited for the job and we're going to use this for auto feed this is like auto feed off a milling machine so that'll be ideal to use on this and then i'm going to make some rails out of some 30 mil chrome bar and these bearings So this is just a project I'm going to do in my spare time, so I won't get it all made in this video, but I thought people might be interested, so I thought I'd make a video on it. First job I think I'm going to do is make a lead screw. I'll have to cut some bar and make a lead screw. So I'm going to make this first, I think. This is going to be my lead screw. So I'm going to use a 24mm thread, and I'm going to do it in fine pitch thread, because these seem to work better at high RPM, but if you've got a coarse pitch, obviously then you're gonna have too much travel speed, so. Um, yeah, just any measurements. So I'll start by making that, I think. Right, so we've got the round bar in the lathe now. I'm gonna turn this end down to 20 mil, so a bearing like that can fit onto it. And I'll center it as well. And then I'll turn it round and machine the other end down, and then I can, Try and cut the thread onto it. So that's that end done. That bearing fits on there nice. When I've finished, I'll drill and tap that, and then that'll be what holds the bearing on. So I'll turn this round now, and then I'll machine the other end down. So when I swap it round, I true it up again, make sure they're nice and true, which that's within. 0.2 of a millimetre, 0.02 of a millimetre. I've got this, this end machine down now. I've got that machine down to 16 mil to fit that on. I left it plenty long enough because I'm not sure how all that's going to fasten on yet. That's where my bearing goes. Um, I might either thread a bit there or put a circuit groove in it to hold the bearing on. But I don't want to do that yet until I've got the thread done. Because if I mess up on the thread, then I've wasted a load of time and everything else. And then I've got a big thread relief there. So. I have plenty of time to stop when I get onto that. Right, so I've got it set in the other way now. I've just got I've got one point four mil to take off the diameter, and then I can start threading it. It's a big span that's unsupported, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to go. So that is machined down to 24 mil now, so it should be ready to thread it. All right, I've got my threading tool in. I've got my compound set at 30 degrees off, well, like 29 and 29 and a half degrees off this. So we should be right to thread now. So wish me luck.
so I've got most of the thread cut. Just doesn't, the thread doesn't quite look as deep in the middle as it is at either end. So I think it's flexing a little bit, but I found a, an M24 by 1.5 mil die. So I think I'll run that down it. I think I'll take it out the lathe now and run that down it to finish it off. Um, I haven't got a nut yet. I'll have to make a nut, but it's like chicken in the egg, which came first, the thread or the nut. Anyway, I've made the thread first. You don't realise how fine a thread 1.5 is until you've got this to thread all the way down it. So that's the lead screw done. I'm pretty pleased with that. That's come out well. Uh, I've just got a, I'll have a keyway to cut in there, a little tiny keyway for that. But I'll have to do that another day because I haven't got time to do it now. I'll have to either thread a bit on there or put a circuit groove on to hold the bearing on. So that'll go some, through some 30 mil plate and be bearing on the end. So that should give me plenty of travel. Well, the, Slight bit more of thread than there is travel, but no, please with that. I just need to either make a brass nut or buy a nut. Not sure yet, but so I want to do this line boring build as a bit of a series. Um, I'm just making it in my spare time, so I'll you know it'll take me a few weeks to get it made completely. And you'll have to let me know in the comments whether you're interested in seeing seeing this type of thing. Or whether you just want to see welding videos. Well, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you could. That would be a great help. I'll see you next time.